But in 1835, a British survey vessel, HMS Beagle, arrived here. On board was a young naturalist who would be the first to comprehend what the Galapagos could do. You know, that does put the Galapagos in an interesting perspective, that they had been known to humanity for like 300 years or so, right? Uh, what, 1500s? Darwin came in the 1800s? Yeah, 300 years. That is interesting. I never really thought about it, but there had been like a long history of people on these islands far before Darwin ever showed up, which is interesting because it means he must have arrived at least with the habitat partially destroyed, you know, he didn't get to see the Galapagos in their like 100% pristine form. I don't know how much they had been devastated by this point. Obviously, I think people definitely had hunted like the tortoises and everything, but I don't know how much, uh, how many animals had been introduced or anything. So it's hard to know exactly what he actually experienced in the Galapagos, but I guess that just, that's something I never really thought about, that he wasn't visiting a pristine environment. He was visiting a place that had been inhabited by humans for at least 300 years. Very interesting. Again, you know, I can't believe I've watched so many of these and I'm only, and I'm only just now realizing that. 